Have you ever thought about whether the technology used to promote the use of renewable and sustainable energy is in fact itself sustainable? My name is Nicholas Kassoon and I am a PhD candidate in the SANG group in the Department of Chemistry. Today, I will be discussing this conundrum as it relates to lithium ion batteries through a brief presentation highlighting our research into organic cathode materials. Modern lithium ion batteries use inorganic cathode materials, which contain transition metals such as cobalt and nickel, which have questionable environmental footprints. With growing demand for lithium ion batteries, so too will the demand for these metals, leading to increased mining and extraction, and subsequently a decrease in their long-term stability. But what if instead of using the current transition metal-based materials, we could use organic molecules as a green and sustainable alternative in the next generation of lithium ion batteries. Organic cathode materials are not a new research topic as they were originally investigated in the late 1960s during the early days of lithium ion battery research. However, these materials were quickly pushed aside due to the early success of the transition metal based materials, in addition to some intrinsic challenges with organic materials that remain the focus of research today. The renewed interest is largely driven by the high, uh, the high variety and abundance of organic molecules, which could be suitable as organic cathode materials, as well as the relative ease of production in comparison to the mining and extraction required for their inorganic counterparts. Aside from the sustainability benefits, organic cathode materials may also provide improved performance, resulting from higher theoretical energy and power densities. While I have highlighted many advantages of organic cathode materials, there are some major drawbacks. The target of my research is to tackle the issue of capacity fade caused by, the active, caused by active material dissolution. In layman's terms, this means that the material used to store the lithium is lost over time as it dissolves into the liquid electrolyte, resulting in a loss or fade in the battery's capacity. In this little animation, we can see that the organic molecules forming the cathode are lost to the electrolyte, making them unable to participate in the storage of lithium during battery cycling. This concept was demonstrated by our experimental data where we see a decrease in the current density, uh, which indicates a decrease in redox events with each cycle, which can be attributed to the dissolution of active material. Future work will involve quantifying the rate and magnitude of capacity fade. Although significant effort has been put into solving the dissolution issue, this has mainly focused on materials and electrolyte modifications intended to reduce active material dissolution. We propose that grafting the organic molecule to carbon additives within the cathode through the formation of a covalent bond um, will stabilize the cathode by anchoring the active material, thus preventing or at least reducing uh, dissolution and subsequently capacity fade. This architecture is shown in the figure on the left. The animation on the right depicts the reduced dissolution of this architecture. Early experimental results have been promising as we observe that this cathode architecture remains much more stable upon cycling, shown in the stable amplitude in our cyclic voltammogram over the course of multiple cycles. Future work will involve quantifying the stability of the cathode architecture through various performance tests and comparing these results to the non-grafted cathodes. Unfortunately, the mechanism for the lithiation and delithiation of organic cathode materials are poorly understood, partially due to the challenges of conducting in situ investigations. As chemists, we believe that understanding these reactions at a fundamental level will play an important role in the continued development of organic cathode materials. We are therefore developing a mechanism a methodology that will, able, will enable us to characterize the lithiation and delithiation mechanisms of various organic cathodes. At the moment, we have designed an in-situ in -situ cell that will allow us to cycle the cathode materials simul as well as simultaneously observing vi vibrational changes at the molecular level. We are currently investigating different substrates that will enhance our signal in order to make these studies feasible. Once complete, we'll begin in situ investigation of the lithiation and delithiation mechanism of organic uh, cathode materials. In summary, organic cathodes offer a sustainable alternative to current materials by replacing the need for transition metals. Although these organic cathodes are hindered by active material dissolution, we propose that a grafted architecture will stabilize the cathodes and reduce capacity fade. Additionally, 
Development of an in-situ methodology will enable investigation of the lithiation and delithiation mechanism, providing a deeper understanding of these cathodes. Thank you for listening to my presentation.